What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here. And guys, I'm all set for Halloween. Sir Flame at your service, Knight of the Round Table. <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys are probably wondering who is this next to me? Well, believe it or not, meet the newest addition to my harem, my nurse, Nurse Omni. Now, you guys are probably wondering. Why is Nurse Omni with me when she's married? Go ahead and tell them. Well, let's just say that my husband was caught doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. A.K.A. he cheated on her. Yeah. Ugh. But anyway, Flame was the only one who actually stood by my side when I was crying a river of tears. Yeah, I'm a go yeah, I'm a goaded friend. Yeah, and more than friends now. <laughs> yeah, no need to be telling them our whole business. But anyway, guys, she is actually dressed up for Halloween. Yep, that's right. I'm dressed up as the Black Bride. Yeah, and guys, believe it or not, the Black Bride is actually one of my fan-made creepypastas. <laughs> hey, you guys want to know the story of her? I'm pretty sure you guys do. I know I do, since I'm the one who helped you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's begin, guys. So, guys, for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the creepypasta story. Well, one of my fan-made creepypastas, otherwise known as the Black Bride. And let me just tell you guys, it's going to be creepy. And, guys, it's the best way to kick off Halloween. So anyway, strap in guys, hold your children tight, and gather around the campfire, or wherever you guys are, and listen to the tale of the Black Bride. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. It took place in a small town. It took place in a small town many years ago. A young woman was very, very excited to be marrying the man of her dreams. He was a very, very wealthy man, kind to people, loves giving to charities, and isn't like one of those rich, snooty people who think they're better than everybody. He's a kind-hearted spirit, and she immediately fell in love with him. They planned their huge wedding, a beautiful cake, all of their friends and family gathering around. And they even set the date on their favorite holiday. Halloween. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, let me just tell you. Celebrating your wedding day on Halloween is definitely something. I'll say. But anyway, she was all set and ready. And not only that... She was all set and ready to surprise her friends and family with her wedding dress. See, she had it specially made, and no one has never seen her wedding dress yet. So, she wanted to keep it a surprise. So, on Halloween night, everybody was all set and ready for the wedding. However, the young woman didn't anticipate a few prankster children to be around. You see, we all know Halloween is the time for trick-or-treating and stuff, tricks and treats, but most people do like to take their tricks or pranks a little bit too far. You know, like shaving cream, water balloons, egging somebody's house, toilet paper, and all that other stuff. But these two, but these kids, they took their pranks a little bit too far. So, they decided to crash the young woman's wedding and plant all sorts of different pranks at her wedding. Whoopee cushions in the guest chairs, bugs in the food, replacing all the flowers with poison ivy, and the worst trick of them all. Dyeing the wedding dress black. Since no one actually knew what the wedding dress looked like, things was just insane. It was time for the wedding. It was time for the wedding. So the four kids disguised themselves as 
they disguised themselves as wedding participants. And so they sat down and <laughs> enjoyed their enjoyed the pranks in action. Everybody sat on their everybody sat down and so all of a sudden many of the whoopee cushions went off. Almost sounded like a symphony of farts. Ugh, gross. Yep. And soon a little girl, the ring the ring bearer, the flower girl, they all broke out in hives because of the poison ivy. Many people started screaming because of the food being inf infested infestation with bugs. Of course, the bride didn't really pay that any mind because she knew it was Halloween, but little did she know it was actually her party guests. So she just didn't really pay it any mind. But when it was time for her dress to get dressed, that's when she noticed. You see, it was dark in the room where she was getting dressed at. So she really didn't see her wedding dress, but she felt around for it. So piece by piece, little by little, she put it on and made her way out. Everybody was in shock. Everybody was in shock to find her wearing a black wedding dress, it's especially the groom. You see, it is traditional to wear white at a wedding because it symbolizes purity. But the groom thought since she was wearing a black wedding dress, he figured that she wasn't pure. He figured that he was being married to a woman who already lost her V-card. And he just left her right then and there at the altar, drowning in her tears. She cried so, so much until those four boys got out of there disguised and laughed their lungs out. And that young woman, she immediately saw this opportunity. She let out a huge raging roar like a dragon and started lunging towards them. The four boys broke off into a run. Not, not before while the woman grabbed a knife, grab a knife off of the snack table and started chasing after them. Yep, she was actually really agile for a woman in heels. Anyway, she managed to catch up with them in the woods and killed each and every one of them. Soon she snapped out of it. Soon she snapped out of it. Soon she snapped out of it and realized what she just did. It was horrible. She made her way into town holding the bloody knife with her face and dress covered in that and those in those children's blood the police soon arrested her on the counts of four murders on halloween night she sat in that jail regretting what she's done but she was both delighted knowing that Boys like them don't deserve to be out on Halloween. But also, she was also really, really upset at the fact that the man that she loved was gone. She stayed in that, she stayed in that jail cell for a whole year, all the way until next Halloween. But then she heard rumors about her about her ex fiance marrying another woman. Someone this time was pure. That really tore her apart so much that she couldn't take it anymore. So when midnight hit, so when midnight hit, when the and the, when the guard went to go feed her her dinner. He found her hanging from the ceiling. She was dead on that Halloween night. She, she, ha she may have been dead, but her spirit lived on.
Years passed, and once again, Halloween came around. A young, a young man, he, a young man was all set and ready to go out with his friends for a night of drinking, partying, and, of course, <laughs> a little bit of mischief. But, of course, they decided to start their mischief early by stealing little kids' candies, smashing pumpkins, and egging people's houses. And so, right before they were about to call it a night and head to their party, they decided to turn down this spooky street. But little did they know that they were passing the woman's house, the Black Bride's house. They heard stories about her, but of course they all thought it was just fake stories and stuff. But soon a thick thought Soon, a thick fog rolled in, and all they heard the sounds was a woman crying while humming the wedding march. They all thought it was a joke at first by some prankster or trick-or-treater, but then suddenly they heard, but then suddenly they heard and saw a black figure wandering around. One of them thought it was just a joke and walked up to her and pushed her. Of course, she reacted emotionless. They all immediately started to get a little bit scared until one of them pulled back her veil and saw her face covered in blood. Her eyes were midnight black. Her eyes were midnight black and her skin was as white as the moon covered in blood they all were about to break into a run but they were all frozen in fear they were all frozen in fear the black bride soon sprouted black huge black wings that's when she was immediately scared she pulled out a knife out of her bouquet of black flowers and killed them, leaving one word, trick. Many people tried to figure out what that word meant, but then, he, but then they figured it out. She was taking revenge of all, for all of the people who had to suffer those rotten kids who always had to be victims of many different pranks during Halloween. So she kills them so they don't so they don't suffer the same fate she did during Halloween. So, guys, let this be a lesson to you. If you ever think about pulling pranks on Halloween, egging houses, whipped cream, shaving cream, whatever, toilet paper, just think about it. And if you find yourself walking through the walking down the street at night and a thick fog rolls in and you hear the sound of the wedding march, count your count your blessings or count your sins because the black bride is coming for you to stop tricks on Halloween once and for all. Well, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little fan-made creepypasta story. Yeah, and I actually helped him. It was actually really great. <laughs> yeah, Nurse Omni, who knew that you were actually really great when it came to creepypasta stories? Well, I do a lot of writing in my spare time. <laughs> yeah, and I promise that I'll take good care of you while you're in the harem. Yeah, and same thing with my mother, too. <laughs> yeah, um, for those of you guys who don't know what happened, uh, well, let's just put it like this. Uh, Nurse Omni's husband cheated on her, cheated on her with her mom. Yeah, with his mother-in-law. Gross, I know. Ugh. But anyway, but luckily, thanks to me, I managed to snap her out of it. And, <laughs> yeah, they're both with me, both mother and daughter. So if you guys want me to bring her mother onto the channel, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to. 
Oh boy. <laughs> But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below, how did you guys like my fan-made creepypasta? Because guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have some creepypasta stories out there that uh, <laughs> you guys might want to share, like a fan-made creepypasta. Like, for example, me, like I did. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below, um, what are your plans for tonight? Planning on going on a Halloween, going trick-or-treating, going uh, to a Halloween party, or just staying in and passing out candy, or just sitting back watching horror movies. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you might be doing that. Who knows? But guys, just a little bit of a fair warning to you guys when it comes to trick-or-treating. Be safe out there. Be safe, okay? Be safe. And be sure to stay with your parents or whoever you guys are going trick-or-treating with, okay? But anyway... Oh, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, you guys will update whenever I post. Anyway, guys, happy Halloween and be safe out there. This is Flame the Dragon Hog and Nurse Omni signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.